Hi, I am Yogesh Pandey. I have total uh, 12 years of teaching experience of both ICSC and CBSC and I have done MSc and BA also and presently I am pursuing postgraduate diploma in school leadership and management. Today I am going to uh, teach you about the topic motion of class 9 CBSC. So, what exactly is motion? Now, in our day to day life we see that we see different type of movements in different objects like we see birds fly, then fishes swim in water, then we in our blood also, we, in our body also there is blood which is flowing in arteries and veins. So, such type uh, different motions are there like of uh, if fan is rotating, so fan is moving that is also the motion if a car is running on the road. So, that is also moving if a bicycle, if anyone is riding the bicycle. So, we can say that these objects are in motion. So, we perceive the objects based on their position and we call it if they are moving from one position to another, we say that they are in motion. Now, there are different types of motions like uh, you can say there is a translational motion, there is a linear motion, there is a straight line motion, circulatory motion, then there is rotatory motion, then there is a vibratory motion, oscillatory motion, there is random motion, periodic motion, non-periodic motion and there are, there are some situations when there is a combination of these types of motion. So, and there are some other types of motions. Uh, which are complex uh, and they can be like control motions and uncontrolled motions also. Now, control motions like uh, the like we can say the generation of hydroelectric power plant, it is a control motion and it will be helpful for the society for the common people as the electricity is generated uh, from the hydroelectric power plant and there is uncontrolled motion like there is a flooded river and there is hurricanes, tsunami, these are uncontrolled motion. So, do you feel there is a, uh, it is required that uh, you should think about how these motions can be controlled that is like a flooded river, do you really feel uh, the need to control these motions? I say yes, we, we should uh, sit together and discuss about these types of motion because these are uncontrolled motion. So, how can we control them in our day to day life? Now, there are some uh, uh, some motions which have indirect evidences like we can say the movement of branches, then the movement of dust particles. So, by and movement of leaves also we can say that there is a motion in air. So, the, uh, we can there are they are having the indirect evidences we do not and even if we feel that, so we come to know that there is a movement of air. So, in this topic we are going to study about uh, these motions. Now, let us start with the motion basically. Now, sometimes uh, we take a reference point and we say there is a motion like I can say there is a hospital in a village which is 2 kilometers from a railway station. So, here the reference point is a railway station and hospital is at a 2 kilometer from the uh, railway station. So, uh, we describe a certain uh, uh, location by taking the reference point. Okay. Uh, so, this was about taking the reference point. Now, next type of motion is a motion in a straight line. Now, let us see what is a motion in a straight line exactly. Suppose I draw a line here like this and I write here some numbers like 0, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45 and 50. So, 0, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45 and 50 till 50 I wrote the numbers.
and let's take the some points here we can take this point as point a then at 20 we can take point b at 40 we can take point c at 50 we can take the point d suppose now there is an object which is uh, moving from point a till point d so the object this is the object and it moves from point a till point d suppose so if i say so actually it is moving from one position to other it will go from like uh, these are the distance suppose these are the distance in kilometers so we have written from 0 kilometers till 50 kilometers and it is traveling from and in a certain time so from 0 kilometer it will start and it will cover the 50 kilometer so the, now there is one more physical quantity that is known as the distance so what is the distance covered by and this particular object let us give some this object as the name like we can say this is the object x so it has covered the distance of 50 kilometers now again if it is coming from 50 kilometers that is point d and it is coming till 20 so it is coming from point d and it is reaching till point b so it is from 50 kilometer to 40 and then a body is covering from 40 to 30 and 30 to 20 so total distance traveled from point d to b is 30 kilometers now if i say what is the total distance covered from point a to d and point d to b so total distance covered by an object x is equal to it will be for 50 plus 30 kilometers and that is 80 kilometers total distance now there is one another physical quantity and that is known as displacement now displacement means again the object is changing its position from one point to another in a certain time but there is a change in the direction also suppose i say the there is a displacement from a to d of the object x and then again it is covering and again it is coming back to from point d to point a so what is the displacement then what is the total displacement suppose we say that suppose an object covers a distance from point A to point D and returns back to point A. So, what is the total displacement or what is the total displacement over here or how can we find the total displacement so it is we can say now in this direction it is going so it is in the direction east so we can take this as positive so we can say it is from point a to d so it is 50 kilometers we can say it is plus 50 kilometers and then again it is from coming back to the A position from where it is started that is the initial point initial position that is point A ok D to initial position and that is A and how much is the distance here now again it is from 50 to 0 so it will be in minus ok so if I want to find the total displacement over here So, it will be the addition of this that is plus 50 plus minus 50. So, I will get 50 minus 50 and that will be 0 kilometers because it has started from the same point and it has gone to the point D where it is 50 kilometers and again it has come back to the same initial point or the origin point from where it has started the object X has started. 
that's why we will get plus 50 plus minus 50 as per the sign convention because on the right hand side we take plus as the number line is there and on the left hand side if we are coming towards the west we take as minus all the numbers are in minus so minus 50 so if we add both we will get 50 minus 50 is equal to 0 kilometers.